And well, Mondays always mean highlights, right? But because high school sports slowed down to the sectional week, we thought we would stick with the pioneers and the excitement theme tonight. We take a look back at the top moments of the 2015 summer from your Elmira pioneers. At number three takes us to June 16th. Elmira taking on Newark and Keanu Cummings was lights out as usual. Setting them up and then sitting them down. Cummings with one of his two double-digit strikeout performances of the season. He led the league in K's and oh yeah, that's right. He was also the co-pitcher of the year. Well, he would need some offense that night and he got it from Christian Santisteban. Boy, are we going to miss him. Got him. That was one of his six home runs of the summer. Maybe his prettiest. Yeah, he was also the PGCBL Player of the Year. It was a nice combo to have. Santisteban almost won the Triple Crown last summer. Both of the stars were on full display that night. Number two takes us back to July 10th. Elmira hosting Victor at the Dunn. Sixth inning, bases full of Pios, but Hayden Kelly is clearing them with one mighty swing. Kelly is country strong from the Florida State product, and he says, who needs an undershirt? And I'm gonna undo a couple buttons. The grand salami for Kelly and the Pios. They extended their winning streak at home to 14 that night. Then at number one, it was the wild one. July 21st, Elmira winners of 19 straight at the Dunn. They were hosting Victor again, and they trailed the entire game. Down four to one in the bottom of the ninth. The game was over, right? Not so fast when Sam Clark's infield single scored Santisteban because nobody covered first. All of a sudden, it was 4-2. to two. Bases were still full for Taylor Hilson. He ground one to short. They'd get the force out at second, but he would beat the throw. No double play. Tom Mirabelli would score. It's now 4-3. to three. Then the next batter was Will LaRue. The chopper up the middle. Keegan Marinpo would score. LaRue was safe at first, but Hilson gets hung up. It's an old-fashioned sandlot pickle, but Victor... With the overthrow, Hilson scores in the most unlikely fashion. The Pios managed to score four runs in the bottom of the ninth. They extended their win streak to 20 games at home. It would go all the way to 23. Oh, what a summer it was at the Dunn. And we'll just have to wait and see what 2016 has in store for the Pios. And just watching that already gets you excited. Oh, 12 days away. So yeah. 12 days away till the home opener on Saturday, June 4th. But you just want to be there right now. I mean, that's a magical Not summer. Not only does that get you excited, but to hear the roster that they have this year. Absolutely. I, mean, I hope it's a really great, successful season and for plus, them. Plus, there's, the, there's a couple players that came back, so fans will be familiar mm -hmm. with a Rob Pertit, a Taylor Ahern, and Corning senior Danny Madden. That's awesome. Not a whole lot of kids right yeah. out of high school get to play in this PGCBL. Great for him, but... I mean, 23 straight wins at the Dunn last summer. That was one of those, you always hear about that magical yeah. summer. That was the one in Elmira, hopefully for, you know, 24, 25 straight this hopefully year. Hopefully we can see that again this year. Thank you so much, Dan. Yeah. When we come back, Joe's going to have a last look at your forecast. You're watching WENY News at 11.